Christ. Today is January the 8th, 2023. Before getting uh, started on today's announcement of the shift of this channel and the focal point of this channel, we're going to start off in prayer. Please join me. With the key of David, I place the cloak of invisibility over this communication, over our minds, body, spirit, and our hearts. In holy Yeshaya's name, Aman, I give Father Ahaya all of the glory, our Mashiach, holy Yeshaya, holy spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, and uh, I just give them all the glory to bring you forth this announcement and this um, this shift of this particular channel um, for the body of Christ. So we're going to get started. I'm going to try to make this as as quick but thorough as possible. This is an introductory um, phase of this, and, and I have to repeat it because I need for each of you to understand, because you will want to take this to prayer um, and confirm for yourselves where you are to be to receive this mana. So again, I just give all the glory to Father Ahaya. Okay, so this is an official announcement um, of the of this channel rather of this channel's shift that we have to make at this hour the focal point of this ministry will now shift and be to establish Father Ahaya's kingdom reign in the earth okay I'm going to repeat that this channel shift and announcement it is the official announcement to establish Father Ahaya's kingdom reign in the earth and announcing the kingdom within. Now, many of you viewers here to this channel have come to know me by my um, birth name, my nickname my dad gave me, which is Poli. Okay. Now, I have since grown in my walk with Father Ahaya and he has given me much, not only mana, but also instruction. Now, through obedience, I have officially and humbly accepted and proclaimed my kingdom reign name given to me by Father Ahaya exclusively. I now go by Queen Odiot. And again, please confirm this word. Test every spirit and confirm this word. And again, I give Father Ahaya all the glory. To him alone be all the glory, praise, and thanksgiving. Now, a small group of us has been receiving um, nourishment and mana regarding specifically the body. Or excuse me, I apologize. Um, we have been receiving um, mana regarding the kingdom within. Now, this mana, this shift that I'm announcing today off of this podium will be used to nourish the body of Christ to know intimately how we were made in our mother's womb. Okay? The mystery of ages, the kingdom within. I'm going to go through a couple of slides to um, just invite you in so that you can sort of um, gather these pieces and take them to prayer. And please cancel with Father Ahaya if you are a mature son of Yah and if this is the time for you to receive this nourishment. It is advanced, but this is where we are in uh, the body of Christ. This is where we need to be because we need to know ourselves. Okay, we need to know um, when Father um, created us, right? So I'm going to go into that a little bit further. I apologize. I don't want to get ahead of myself, so I'm going to go go ahead and start with the slides. So again, to address the um, shift of the time in which we're at, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And this is in um, written in Mark chapter 1, verses 15. Now I'm going to add um, some uh, insight on this particular verse. This is very crucial because it's very important that you take everything to prayer before rejecting knowledge because this is the truth of the word and what Father wants us to. Um, to know again you'll understand um, when you see the other verses where we have been given this mystery of the kingdom within you must 
know yourselves. So if you ever have any questions of any mana shared, it's very important that you confirm it with Father directly. Okay, and that's why it says here um, to believe in the gospel, to not believe the the past uh, lies that we've been um, given throughout our lives, the truth of the word. Okay, the truth and the mystery of Christ is within you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and and, uh, continue here. Okay, in Colossians uh, chapter 1, verses 25 through 27, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints." To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles, and that is, Christ is within you. Now, in introducing this shift, I'm also going to introduce to you, and we're going to go back to the beginning of when Father Ahaya created um you know, created uh, creation altogether. So we're going to go through this. And again, if you have any questions, please pose them in the comments and I will be glad to answer them. And again, I give Father Ahaya all the glory. In Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 5, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Now, keep that thought in mind because we're going to go over what is light. So this is, again, an introductory of a culmination of what we've received. And now Father has commanded that I come forward and share this with the body of Christ as a whole. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and there was evening and there was morning the first day. Again, please focus on the word light. We are the light of the world. When you you take into consideration the kingdom within, the optical thalamus is referred to and known as the light of the world. Again, the kingdom is within. You will not seek it outwardly. It is within you. This is the mystery given and granted to the saints to profess. In 1 John chapter 1, verses 5, verse 5, excuse me, this then is the message which we have heard of him and declare to you that God is light, a photon. What is light? It's a photon. And in him is no darkness at all. He is the father of light. He is the father of photons. God is light. The definition of light, and I'm just going to go over this very quickly. I'm just going to skim through it, the important parts. The current scientific scientific definition of light is a photon carried on a wave front. This definition incorporates the dual nature of light, which means that light behaves both like a particle and a wave. The wave part will come into play, and it's very important. It's an amazing revelation given by um, Bill Donahue, and... I will share that as we as we uh, grow together, okay? So we'll touch on that. Just uh, maybe make a mental note of this uh, fact of how the wave offering comes into this in uh, Scripture. Light is a form of electromagnetic radiation. That means that it does not require a medium to travel through. Okay, so with this being said... We're just coming before you to invite you to subscribe to learn and grow in your walks regarding the kingdom within because it is written that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached through all the nations 
and then the end will come. Therefore, it is absolutely crucial that the body of Christ comes together, works together, and knows truly of the mystery of the ages that the kingdom is within. That is the mystery. It is not the same as your salvation. Salvation is a free gift, and we cannot we we cannot combine the two. Um, these are two separate things. One is a mystery, and the other is not a mystery. It plainly says that if we believe on Holy Yeshaya and that He died in and died for our sins, we are we are given the gift of salvation. So you can see the definitive um, difference between the two. Okay, just to explain that now. Now we do invite you to subscribe and learn and grow in your walks um, with um, Beloved Grace Ministries. Uh, Father Ahaya has commissioned Queen Esther, who has um, been illustrating through her channel. Again, the channel is called Beloved Grace Ministries with Queen Esther. And she has um, been working on a playlist and illustrating that playlist. Um, The focal point, again, is the kingdom within, knowing yourselves. Uh, and it is called the Bible and the Body Playlist. I will include that link as well. And um, please, again, I'm just going to leave it at this. Please take everything to Father Ahaya directly and confirm because the entire body of Christ will need to know of the kingdom within. You will need to know yourselves intimately. Okay. And again, I want to state. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to state again that this is the gospel that will be preached throughout the nations. It is written, and then the end will come. So it is very important, again, that you take everything to Father Ahaya. Confirm and please join us. Please subscribe um, to this channel uh, through my ministry and also um, other um, the other priests that have been commissioned to give the word of the kingdom within. Uh, we will also be sharing their Um, their um, particular podiums as we receive um, their contributions. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. Please, again, if you have any questions, please pose them in the comments. It'll be crucial for the um, body of Christ to come together in unity um, for us to, to carry out Father's will and not our own. So I love you very much, and I give Father Ahaya all the glory. Aman. Shalom.